Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is what I want is some gratitude. The scripture comes from Matthew. Thirteen. Okay, 13 and 40 through 46. And then the darnel is gathered up and is burned with fire. So will it be in the full end of this age? The son of man will send forth his messengers and they will gather up out of his kingdom all the stumbling blocks and those doing the lawlessness and will cast them into the furnace of the fire. There will be the weeping and the gnashing of teeth. Then will the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father he who is having ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of the heavens is like to treasure hid, hide, to treasure hid in the field, which a man having found hid and from his joy goes and all. As much as he has, he sells and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like to a man, a merchant seeking good pearls, who having found one pearl of great price, having gone away, has sold all as much as he had and bought it. So here's the message. God says he wants all of the praise. He wants all of the honor. He wants all of the glory for whatever it is that he has brought you through. For somebody, I feel like you were enduring a hell-like circumstance a hell like situation like this is I, I just feel like this was a dark place that you were in you were in a place you were not happy you were depressed you were going through it uh, I, for some of you you were tormented by demons and this is uh regardless if these demons were in a spiritual form or physically uh, taking over a human's body. There were demons that were harassing you. There were demons that were bothering you, stalking you. It could be a situation where you are around a group of people that were completely controlled by demons and they were doing all kind of demonic activity. You were in a hell-like place. You were in a hell-like place and God pulled you up out of there. And he removed you from there. You may have lost a lot in order to get away from this place. You may have had to make a few sacrifices to get away from this place. But God says it is much better to give up all that you have so that you can seek the kingdom of God than to be stuck in a hell-like position. And end up in a place where there's nothing but weeping more and gnashing of teeth weeping and moaning crying i just feel like this is somebody that was in mourning all the time you were in constant mourning all the time always crying you were always sad you was always depressed god said he pulled you up out of that situation with the quickness and sometimes, you know, when you're going through it, it feels like it's taking forever for you to get out of it. And once God pulls you out of it and you look back and you're like, wow. God said he pulled you up out of that. He did that. 
give him all the honor, all the praise, all the glory, because he did that. He did that. He did it. God said he's the one that pulled you up out of there. He's the one that rescued you. He's the one that saved you. He pulled you up out of there because you did not deserve to be in a hell-like position. Like, you know, there are so many people that live this way. They are literally on earth living as if they are in hell. Their lives are complete misery. And God said, for somebody, you were put in this position. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like a lot of people find themselves in positions like this because they are feeling as if they are supposed to save somebody. They trying to rescue somebody. They trying to pull somebody out and they trying to, they want to rescue them and they want to take them with them. And it, it's almost like sometimes I just feel like some of the demons will make you believe that you can. Sometimes that's not the point. Sometimes it's not a situation where God sent you there to rescue them. And sometimes God sent you there to rescue them. They didn't want to go. They refused. Leave them there. What more can you do? You cannot force somebody to leave out of a, a bad situation. If they don't see the light and they don't see that you are basically giving them a way out and they don't want to take it as theirs to accept or reject. If they rejected it, that's their choice. There are some people that are literally choosing to stay in bad circumstances. They choose to live in a very difficult position. They choose to live their life in a way that is, is complete misery. And they chose it. That's their choice. When they are offered a way out, they don't want it. When they are offered another option, they don't want it. God said, leave them there. Let them figure it out then. He like, what, what can you do? And for whoever this is for, if you would have stayed trying to help whoever this person is, and you would have stayed trying to pull them out, or even if you would have figured out a way to pull them out, they like nine out of 10 would have ran right back to that situation. They would like, this is somebody that I'm, I'm being reminded of the movie. I forgot the name of that movie or when that woman, uh, was getting into it that evil there was an evil mother a wicked mother in this movie that was trying to uh her daughter was talking about how she was allowing the stepfather to abuse her and she told her to go to he double hockey sticks and the mother was like i vacation and this is somebody that they like the situation that they in they enjoy the situation that they in they are uh okay with it they're comfortable with it. Just like in that movie, that woman was comfortable with her man laying with her daughter, abusing her daughter, using her daughter. She was okay with that. And that is sick. That like she literally, you know, the man was going to leave and then she tell him no stay. So she literally created her own hell. This is somebody, they are creating it for themselves and they choose to stay there. You can't pull them out and you can't pull them out because they don't want to go. They don't want to leave. They don't want a way out. They don't want to see it your way. They don't want to see it God's way. They don't want to find a way out. They insist on staying there. They romanticize the hell that they live in. There's nothing you can do. And I'm just like, I just feel like for whoever this is for, God is saying, you know what I'm saying? You was in a kind of situation where you was trying to figure out you had a way to get out. You had a way to leave. You had an opportunity to leave, but you wanted them to come with you. And every time you tried, they probably put their foot out to ensure that y'all both couldn't go. They put their foot out to ensure y'all both would not be able, because they, they didn't want to leave. First of all, second of all, they want you to stay there and be tormented as well. They wanted you to be punished as well. They wanted you to suffer as well. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this is for, God said, uh-uh, he pulled you up out of there. And he pulled you up out of there because whatever punishment they got going on, you don't need to have it. Like it was rubbing off on you. You don't deserve that. 
And they like, you know what I'm saying? You don't deserve that. And whatever this person, they created it because they insist on like indulging in sin. They insist on living in a very sinful manner and their sin has caused them. They are so like, th this is a lesion. They are so filled up with demons that they don't care about what the physical reality of things is. Baby, God says some of you had to leave everything. You had to let go of everything, all of your belongings, everything that you had to your name in order to leave this place. But it is better to leave everything that we own in this physical realm of earth behind and seek the kingdom of God than to stay stuck in a place where God is not present. That's the message. God said you didn't deserve to stay in this in this place. You did not deserve this predicament. That you did not deserve to be in this 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 nightmare. Okay, and that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.